Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome, everyone. You're listening to Maximum Medicine Radio, The Healing Hour, with me, Dr. Sharon Martin, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This is the hour of healing power. In this live call-in show, The Healing Hour, I'm going to take your calls and help you get started on your way to your maximum potential. So come on, settle in, listen up, and I'll take your questions head on. Together, we'll find practical wisdom and understanding about what ails you. In The Healing Hour, we'll start your day off right insights and practical health knowledge and concepts for how you really live i'll take your issue and help guide you with the blend of scientific medicine and the esoteric including shamanic energy medicine so let's shake off some of that mystery and get started on how to really live together let's get unstuck so come on and join in join up and let me help and let go of what holds you back from being the maximum you the world needs Take down this call-in number, 1-800-930-2819, and let's get started on the Healing Hour right now. Hey, Dr. Pat. Mm. How are you? Oh, my gosh. What an amazing show we've got planned for everybody. Um, Dr. Sharon Martin is here, and for those of you that don't know who she is, you're going to find out today. Um, Sharon, tell everybody what we're talking about today. So I want to take the, well, let me back up. Yeah. My, my way of approaching healing is through my program that I've called Maximum Medicine. And this healing hour is a subset of that. And to that end, I'm a physician and a shamanic practitioner. And I like to find alternative ways to heal that involve the energy field, because that is my training as a shamanic practitioner. And my vehicles for the best way I can tap into the field and spirit are through stones. So what the amazing show is today is I want to take us on a journey. Today's the inauguration. So I thought, you know, inauguration is about something new, about starting a new path, about stepping into new action. And we had well, by all accounts, a lousy year in 2020, and hopefully a much, much better year. And we also got planetary alignments helping us. We just left the age of Pisces, and we're entering the age of Aquarius. So we've got new action, and we've got the potential for unity consciousness, the potential for minimizing our divisiveness, And I'm going to take everybody today on an energetic trip um, using my stones. And Pat, I think it's going to be great. It is going to be great because what that means is that what we're doing is it's we're not just talking about the movement of energy, right? What we're doing is we're literally moving energy. Does that make sense? Because I think it's important to tell people about the power in the stone rituals and the stone blessings. Well, that that is absolutely true because as I've set up the altar or what we might say my medicine bundle, I have opened sacred space and I have invited in, shall we say, a vortex or a portal of connection to spirit. And every one of these stones, now other people can use other mechanisms to connect with spirit. They can use tarot cards they can use talking to the trees they can whatever they choose i love stones but i have used my altar to set up an energetic field so to speak that we're all going to step into and we're all going to take a journey and the journey is going to be around around the stones and my favorite one of my favorite symbols is the spiral So we're going to travel in a circular direction clockwise, and we're going to deepen into different energies that the stones will bring us to for us to step into whatever new path we want to step into. So this is an invitation for the listeners to 
get ready to deepen, get ready to drop into the vortex that I've created, get ready to welcome in spirit and start to really get momentum from spirit through the stones for stepping on your new path, whatever that is for you. What do you think, Pat? I think we're starting out by stepping into the age of Aquarius, too. And think and, and really bring to the forefront some new thoughts, some actions. You know, what it is that stepping into the age of Aquarians means for you personally, but what are we seeing it mean in the world today? You know, some people thought stepping into the age of Aquarius would be without conflict. That's not really the dance that Jupiter and Saturn do. Um, but this is what you're talking about, stepping into the age of Aquarius, Right. What is the right. first step like? And so for me, what we're going to do when we get to the altar is we've got to get some courage and some momentum. And truthfully, if I look at what's happening in our politics today, it took a lot of courage in today's society, in my opinion, I'll totally own this, to have an Asian American, Indian American woman as vice president. So we are taking new steps. We are, the amount of diversity that has been um, nominated for cabinet is incredible. So we have the potential for starting to unify ourselves, to get rid of divisiveness, to really do what the age of Aquarius says, and that is move towards unity consciousness. Today is a day that we look at, if we could just say this, if we look at how to celebrate your own personal inauguration. Right. This is what the, you're bringing forward today. It's to claim a new path. And during the show, you're going to be literally doing that. Tell folks a little bit about what they'll see on the split screen if you're on Facebook or you're watching the video. So what we're going to have is, uh, and our producer, David and Benny, producers, David and Benny, um, are going to either have me and Dr. Pat while we're talking, but then they're going to shift over to the altar. And the altar is my shamanic medicine bundle with many of the stones that I consider my allies. And also um, bringing that picture with flowers because Whenever you enter in dialogue with spirit, you want to give back as well. So bringing the beauty um, forward, and that's a way of honoring the space that's created. And so we'll we, use, go, go ahead. And we Pat. have people calling in for, to the show as well. Wonderful. So let's talk about that too. Um, obviously, Sharon, Dr. Martin, what you're talking about is resonating with a lot of people. I mean, it's so the action the energetic infusion that we need to step in to something new, to claim and be introduced to initiate. Right. So um, just a quick thing for everybody. Listen, when we do this journey, regardless of whomever calls in that topic or that question or that wonder about the energetics is for everyone. So I'm going to quickly talk to Charlene, and then we're going to begin our energetic process. So do we have an actual call or a comment yeah. on Facebook? No, nope, we actually have Charlene has called in, I believe, Benny uh, and David. So mm-hmm. let's let's bring Charlene on. Charlene, are you Hello, there? Hello, ladies. Hi, Charlene. Hello. Hi. Hi. So... I feel a huge energy shift right now. It's like um, it's like a weight has been taken off just collectively. We're certainly uh, you know on there's, the there's stepping been a lot on a going path. on collectively, huh? Mm-hmm. We're stepping onto a new path. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So. Do you have something that you want to initiate in now in this journey that we're going to take today? Do you want to 
tell us what you're going to be doing as we follow the spiral of the stones today? I am going to be moving an energy blockage out of my upper back, mostly my shoulders. I think uh, in the last year, um, there's been a lot of inner work done and uh, almost feeling like the connection to the collective and the weight of the world and uh, I'm feeling the need to shift that energy in my upper back and my shoulders in order to raise my vibration. Good. So let me just talk about the ethics uh, and the energies today. First of all, I've set up sacred space. Secondly, I have called on our collective spirit guides to only have highest vibration present, that other things that are not in unity with us uh, should stay outside. And also, we are going to enter a collective container that was set up by one of my spiritual teachers, where if you're going to shed things that you no longer want and heavier energies, those will not impact other people. So those will be mulched by the stones and the earth, but you may step into this uh, without worrying about having any uh, energetic residue. So Charlene, when you follow with us, just know that you can dump your stuff and send it to the earth, and that way we'll keep the energetic residue away from other people joining us. And thank you so much for calling. Thank you. All right, shall we, Pat, are we ready to? Yeah, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, what we're going to do is really look at how we open many possibilities to your path. And what are those things that hold us back? What are those things that get us caught in maybe a limiting belief? Maybe a belief that we don't know at a conscious level. But if you know that something is holding you back, that's what Dr. Sharon Martin in today's show is about. Uh, Benny, let's take a short break. And when we come back more with your inauguration. Welcome to Light Body Wisdom with internationally known Light Body Whisperer, Grace Holm. She will make you laugh and yawn as you release lifetimes of trauma and begin to feel much lighter. Your divine gifts may be activated, allowing you to weave light into the fabric of the world. Are you ready to be your own light and shine? For more information about Grace, visit gracegholm.com. That's gracegholm.com. The Coach Peggy Show. All things wellness with Coach Peggy Wilms. Tune in live every first and third Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you settling? No more. Coach Peggy takes on all things wellness. We go way beyond nutrition and fitness. The Coach Peggy Show is not afraid to be bold, badass, and it's never half in. For more information, visit AllThingsWellness.com. Hi, I'm Brittany Miles from Miles to Go, How to Lose to Gain It All. I have a mindfulness practice to help you face difficult emotions. It's called RAIN. Developed by Tara Brock, the letters mean the following. R, recognize what's happening to you. A, allow the situation to be as it is. I, investigate feelings with interest and care and nurture yourself with self-compassion. So you see, rain isn't so bad after all. Tune into my show to learn more. See you on the second and fourth Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, here on Transformation Talk Radio. Feel free to reach out to me at milestogocoaching.com. That's miles, the number two, gocoaching.com. Hey everyone, it's me, Psychic Medium Jamie. And me, Spirit Walker Nicole from Shades of Spirit, bringing you another Shades of Spirit tip of the week. Jamie, have you ever wondered if spirit or an angel is around you or your home? 
ever since I was a child. And today we're going to go over a few signs and indications that they are near us. What about hearing your name called that you can't quite find the source? Does that happen to you? All the time. I see moving shadows or bursts of color out of the corner of my eyes. I'll have objects that go missing and then turn up in the most random places. Especially when you're trying to get out the front door. I'll have electrical devices that turn on and off for no reason. I'll see repetitive number sequences such as 444, 1111, or 1234. Join us each week, Monday mornings at 8 a.m. for our Shades of Spirit podcast on Transformation Talk Radio. You can also follow us and make appointments on shadesofspirit.com or give us a call at 858 858- Six eight four seven five seven five to book your appointment. Are you ready to become an unstoppable force of love in the world? Then don't miss the Creative Empowerment Show, Invoking Radical Love with Rachel Chase live every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Rachel shares tools, stories, and meditations to spark the flame of profound wisdom within you. If you want to awaken your superpowers and activate your heart, visit rachelchase.com. Tune into Three Things I've Learned with Susan Dolce every first and third Tuesday of the month at noon Pacific, 3 o'clock Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. Join Susan and her guests as they share the stories that shift our souls about radical transformations, courageous breakthroughs, and life lessons. Three things I've learned with Susan Dolce. For more information, go to transformationtalkradio.com or visit Susan's website at susandolce.com. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Healing Hour. I'm Dr. Pat, and I am so honored to take this journey with Dr. Sharon Martin. This is about bridging the metaphysical and scientific. Today, Dr. Sharon has taken us on a journey to celebrate your inauguration, claim your new path, and you're going to get to experience this. For those of you that are listening on air, that might be one way to do it. The other way is to go over to Facebook Transformation Talk Radio, and you will actually see the blessing, the stones, the altar during this show and what is about to transform. Before we start to open up to possibilities, to find a new path, how do people work with you directly, Doc? And how do they find out more about this and about getting their own personal stone blessing? Wonderful. So you guys can find me on my website, which is drsharonmartin.com. That's drsharonmartin.com. And send me an email. The email is there. Send me an email and tell me how I can help. Um, I do a multitude of energetic approaches and coaching and stone readings and shamanic healings. So if I can be of any help, then Dr. Dr. Sharon That would be great. Wow. And what you're seeing today is part of the work that Doc Martin does. Um, And by the way, I will say this, she will customize a blessing very specifically for you. So please keep that in mind. Today, it's join this pathway. And so, Doc, let's take people on this journey of what it means to open to many possibilities in their path. Wonderful. So we're going to move over to the altar in just a minute. But what I want you to do, if you're watching or even if you're listening, just follow my voice. Because we're going to start a path of recognizing that we have the potential for new action, new thoughts, new ways of being as humans. And I want to start us thinking about how we can step into that. And sometimes stepping into that is hard. And we'll talk about that as we move over. And David, could we go over to the altar now? So everyone, I have open sacred space. You see here my Peruvian cloth that's part of my medicine bundle. The stones that I love, they've become my pals. Stones are ways that I get and intuition. So stones are my vehicle to connect to spirit. 
And we want to just take a minute and deepen in. Just relaxing the tension in your shoulders, letting out your breath, let out an exhale. And let's step to this part of the altar. Because whenever we begin a new path, a lot of times we don't have the energy for action and we have a lot of doubt. So we need some courage. And I've brought in some of the powerhouses of solidness, of force, of lower chakra energy. So I have bronzite, very, very powerful for our minerals of our body, actually a physical healer. Dragonstone. So if you just want to tap into the energy of dragon, dragon being a primordial force of movement, of change, and feel that dragon breath blowing courage into your field. And these are stones of the third, second and third chakras, mukite, jasper, obsidian, carnelian. Light a fire. Just feel, take this time to light a fire in your belly to amplify and give energy to whatever path you're going to choose. What is the new thing you want to do? Let's use dragon to give us some courage. Let's use carnelian and mukite jasper to light a fire. And petrified wood and amber to keep us solid on the ground. A lot of time our wishes are very ethereal and they're in the spirit realm, but they need to materialize. They need to come come to earth, so to speak. They need to take form. So we're going to use these petrified wood and the amber as grounding just to make sure that our thoughts as we give them power actually come into form, into physical manifestation. So let's just use this time right now. Feel the dragon energy, primordial energy up from the earth, giving you power, giving you the courage to step onto your new path. While we light the fire in our belly, see the red and orange as our energy builds for taking action. But we're still grounded. We're still grounded on earth. And so many times we're limited by our self-doubt. And this is where I turn it over to the energy of dragon or another spirit helper. Just turn it over and say, for right now, I'm going to suspend doubt. I'm going to suspend disbelief. And I'm just going to try it. I'm going to step forward. And you know that spirit's behind you. You know that we've called that into this collective container. And step energetically in your mind as you see what it is you want to accomplish. Feel the power building. Feel the force as we remove doubt, we remove the barriers, that self-talk that says you're not good enough or you'll never do it or this isn't for you, all of that stuff gets burned away. And for everyone listening, participating, again, as you burn off any barriers, just know that this is sacred space and that residue of others that is burning or of yours to others, there is no detriment to the others around. This is a sacred container. Just feel that power. And if you'd like to invite Dragon to be your ally, that's very, very powerful stone. These two are Dragon stones, very powerful stones for forward motion. And now we're going to come over to the next section as we step into the second phase. And if we'll come over here, 
And we need to open up the windows. Maybe we don't exactly see a possibility. And we have here high vibrating stones of angel realm, crystals, rose quartz, amethyst, lepidolite, ruby zoocyte, many of these beautiful high vibrating stones. And one of the challenges is to actually see that there is a possibility there. If you couldn't see it before, you're in a room limited by the story you've told yourself. Like, I'm never good at this, or this is the only thing I could ever do, or, oh, that can't be me. All of those stories and rules and language that we've used that limits us, that puts us in a box. I kind of liken it to a room with no windows. So I want you to use this time right now using these beautiful, angelic, violet flame, high vibrating energies, heart energy with the rose quartz. Open a window to your perspective Open a window so that you see something differently. My teacher, Alberto Violdo, taught me that we have four different ways of looking at something. The literal world, which is exactly as it is as you see it. Uh, The rain is wet. The air is cold. Just literal view. But then you also have the emotional view. Well, I'm not liking feeling uncomfortable. It makes me feel unsafe. That emotional view. Then then the spiritual view. All of these different perspectives open us up to seeing something a different way. So take a minute in the idea that you have that you want to bring forth. Take a minute. See yourself in the room of your beliefs. And using these beautiful, angelic, high vibrating stones, step into a new doorway out of your room or open a window. Let's just take a few moments to sit here and just see ourselves opening a window, opening up to seeing it differently. That means you allow the possibility. You say what if, and instead of putting all your rules on it that knock that idea down, you fly with it just for a moment. Let yourself fly. Let yourself lift up with that thought, that idea, that wish, that desire. Lift yourself up and fly into a new realm of possibility. Remember, this is inauguration. This is claiming the new you, claiming your new path. See it differently. Suspend your disbelief. Just for a moment, feel what it's like. And this the thing here is feeling. We have this desire. Feel it. Feel it come alive in your field. Remember, you have dragon energy giving you the force and the fire. You have carnelian and jasper lighting the flame. While your feet are firmly on the ground, feel what it's like to soar into something different. What if? What if? Can you? Will you? Should you? All of those become, I want to. I want to do this. Feel it. Let it be so.
And I'm just going to let you feel those new possibilities. And we will take a short break and then continue our beautiful journey onto the new path where we inaugurate you. And we'll be back in a moment. Are you ready to shift your current beliefs about death from debilitating pain and loss? Follow Angie Corbett Kuiper as she shares that through choice, present moment awareness, and keeping an open mind. Anything is possible, even in death. Tune in to Beyond Proof Radio with Angie, redefining death and loss every first Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more, visit BeyondProof.com. Hey everyone, it's me, Psychic Medium Jamie. And me, Spirit Walker Nicole from Shades of Spirit, bringing you another Shades of Spirit tip of the week. Jamie, have you ever wondered if you might be an empath? Yes, I have. And some signs that we may be an empath include an inexplicable desire to avoid crowds in places like movie theaters, shopping centers, and restaurants. You know, sometimes I'm able to walk into a room with other people and I know exactly how they're feeling, even if no one is saying a word. I can attend social gatherings or other events and find myself so emotionally exhausted and physically drained that I could probably sleep for a week. If any of these examples resonate with you, please come check out our new live podcast, Shades of Spirit. It's on every Monday morning at 8 a.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. You can also find us at shadesofspirit.com where you can book your appointment or call us at 858-684-7575. Are you ready to put down that drink or drug for good? Are you struggling to maintain your recovery from addictive behaviors? Do you need help with a family member or loved one who's in early recovery or battling addiction? Get the help and guidance you need by arranging a recovery recharged phone session with me, Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx, Certified Life and Recovery Coach. Call 1-800-889-1757. Make an appointment today. Or go to my website, pushybroadfromthebronx.com, and click on the link that says Recovery Recharged. Don't wait. Get the help you need today. This is Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. How many times do you find yourself saying it was nothing or just doing my job when really you knocked it out of the park? How did you get like this? Next time someone tells you great job, you'll know how to accept it and not deflect it by listening to Courage to be Seen Radio with host Sherry Clark. Sherry Clark is an experienced global engineering leader, coach, and mentor. From her experiences one-on-one coaching to corporate consulting and executive coaching, Sherry has learned many women need at least three things to discover and face success. Learn about the ACES program, how to survive male-dominated fields with grace and authenticity, and reach the top without ever once giving up on who you are. Courage to be Seen host Sherry Clark explores the awesome power of your entire self and how far you can go by being more you. Check out her website, CourageToBeSeen.com. You have the courage to be seen. See you later. Hi, everybody. Hi, Pat. Hi, Sharon. Doc Martin and I are here. And Sharon, Dr. Sharon Martin has planned something beautiful for you all today. Continue with where we're going. Continue with this path, this initiation. Please do that. So what we've done, and if you're coming in now and you missed the first part, you'll be able to pick that up on the on the transcribed, archived podcast. But this is an energetic process designed to help you step onto your new path, whatever new action you want to take. We are using the stones and the energies of my shamanic mesa. The word mesa is basically for altar. 
um, in the Peruvian tradition, and using the stones as helpers to set up the energetic to help you step into what you want, into your new desire. So we had the courage and the action from Dragon and Carnelian and uh, Mookite Jasper, the grounding from Petrified Wood and Amber. And then we opened up our perspective to really see a possibility that maybe we didn't think existed. We changed our story a little bit. We changed the limiting beliefs by asking the higher vibration crystals and angelic stones and the purple vibration to help us get out of the closed view that we have of what we are and what we're capable of. And now we're going to go back to the Mesa. We're going to go back and take a moment to kind of get our groove on and step into this vortex and take it to the next few steps before we close up today. So those of you who are just joining in, just let your shoulders relax and take a deep breath and come over to the altar and let's step into the vortex and the portal that the stone energies have set up for us. So we have the angelic realm that has helped us see the possibilities, see the wonderful ability outside of our current view, stepping bigger, stepping bigger. Sometimes when we step bigger, and we're going to move around this vortex in the clockwise way, sometimes when we step bigger, we get a little scared and we need some help. And so this, this section of the journey is to bring in the energies of spirit and the messages you'll get. So you have stones here that are in the heart chakra zone, in the throat chakra, bringing in the fluidity, the messages that can flow to you, the water element the feelings that can flow to you. You have seraphinite, which is beautiful silvery shards, high vibrating stone for moving you forward. Blue lace agate, chrysoprase, aquamarine, more chrysoprase, emerald, celestite, diopside. You don't have to know all those names, but you can see them and feel their beauty but their beauty takes you deeper to the energy. So this is the place where you've gotten some courage, you've opened up your beliefs, but boy, you don't really want to do this alone. It's a little bit scary and you're not sure exactly how to step or what path do I put my left foot forward first or my right. This is calling in spirit. This is getting your spirit helpers behind you. So all of that, beautiful energies, beautiful high vibrating energies. Just drop yourself in and if you're watching, just drop into the colors, feel the beauty, feel the fluidity, sixth chakra, fifth chakra, heart chakra. This is where you want to listen to the whispers and be quiet enough now to hear them. Oftentimes, spirit doesn't talk in loud voice. So you go quiet, and then you get an inkling. You get a, maybe you get a feeling in your gut. Maybe you get a knowing. Sometimes I see a phrase behind my eyes if I, my eyes were closed, and I'll see a, a word or a phrase, or I'll hear, I, it's usually, it feels like it's on my left side, behind my left ear. You know that, that idea of an angel on your shoulder? I'll sort of get a knowing. I'll get a knowing that, oh, okay, let's, let's step forward. So this is where you get your helpers. So take a minute and deepen into this beautiful sacred space. And call forth a helper for yourself. And remember, we have put all of the gates up around here to make this a high spiritual zone so that no energies that 
are not in the highest vibration for us, no energies are allowed. So call in for yourself, your helper. Call in who is going to talk to you, who is going to give you the message. How are you going to know it? Are you going to feel it in your gut? Are you going to get a pitter-patter of your heart when you know you're on the right track? Are you going to see a new way? Are you the type who gets your messages from seeing? Are you going to hear a little voice in your ear? Take in the help through any intuitive path. However you, are you clairaudient, meaning you hear? Clairvoyant, do you see? Clairsentient, do you feel? Just know that you're opening to receiving messages to help you, ways to guide you. And remember your ancestors are helping you as well. Now, many of us think, gosh, you know, I'm not sure I want my ancestors. They were both all a bunch of pains in the rear. But remember when they're in spirit world, they're in their purest form. So whatever errors they made as humans, those are gone. When they are there in spirit form, they are helping you from their highest soul capacity. So however problematic or challenged or even creepy they might have been when they're in spirit form that's no longer true that was only their human form so ancestors are here we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors we are who we are because of them not only biologic lineage but energetic lineage And you could even close your eyes now and feel, is there an ancestor watching, standing by, ready to help? Many people remember their grandmother, but there may be somebody you never met, really. You weren't alive when they were alive, but they're here helping. And they are all in this helper realm. And they are all occupying the energies that I've set up here in this part of our spiral journey. Allow yourself to have help and allow yourself to open to hear the messages. Be open for the subtle whispers. You won't always get hit on the head. It might just be a little feeling you get a little nudge. Wonderful. And then let's do something because this is the age of Aquarius. I want to take this journey out from our personal. We're going to move over here to the final limb of our energetic path today. Join in the sacred container of the collective. And I've chosen stones like fluorite and labradorite. I don't know if you can see what's called chatoyancy, how they flickers the light. Indicolite, which is a blue tourmaline. Numite, which is really high vibrating shaman stone. This container, the work that we do, and the path that we're taking for our human species is a collective one. Join in the collective sacred container to use the power as others participate, to use our group power to move us forward even more strongly. We don't have to do this alone. This is the time, as I've learned from one of my teachers, Dr. Patrice Fields, the reminder that she gave us is use your help, gather in groups, small groups, to combine your energies to create even more powerful path forward. So just feel this is the collective. This is the power of the shaman stones that call in 
call in all of humanity, call in all of us as dreamers. Remember, we're dreaming a new world. Every path that we set for us to shift shifts our humanity, shifts our species. And dreaming means allow yourself to think of it being different and bigger and higher. We all need to start dreaming again. That is how we are going to literally co-create our future. This whole path we did today, although it started as an individual activation of our new path individually, we are now in the collective. Put it into the collective and let us together, as we each move ourselves, move the future of humanity. Dream it into being. So what does that mean, dream it into being? It means as we change our reality, we create our future. We dream our future. So we're going to take that time now to join the collective and be co-creators And we've got a few moments left. I really want us to reflect on this, on this journey. We pulled our courage and got the fire for action. Dragonstone, Jasper, Carnelian. We held our grounding, petrified wood and amber. We dared to see something from a new perspective, a new window opening up beyond the story we normally tell ourselves, beyond the story we've described as what we are. We can be more. We are more. So we've used fluorite and shugalite and rose quartz and crystal. And we took help from the higher realms, from the spirit realms and from our ancestors. Chrysoprase, aquamarine, emerald, Celestite, we do not have to do this alone. We have unbelievable numbers of allies in the angel world, in the magic kingdom, and the stones. For me, this is where I get a lot of my sense of help, is through the stone world. Mm. What a beautiful, beautiful message and powerful. And for our time, you know, for where we are, for celebrating your inauguration, how to claim your new path. What does that mean to claim your new path? Uh, You just all experienced an incredible blessing. Um, And this is what Dr. Sharon Martin does And this is the energy that if you have been watching today, you have felt the shift. You have been part of this. Um, Sharon, thank you so much for this. Uh, Talk about the fact that we are all co-creators. So I'm still a little trippy. So let me just get myself myself back to ground here. Well, while you're doing that, I just want to make mm-hmm. sure that you all know how to contact uh, Doc Martin. Dr. Sharon Martin dot com is the website. You will find lots of information about her, her work, about Maximum Medicine, what it is, about courses and classes she'll be offering, um, everything from blessings to certification. So there's plenty there. Dr. Sharon Martin dot com. You know, this idea of becoming a co-creator, whether you realize it or not, that is who we are. We are co-creators. And why do I say that? Well, look, if we weren't meant to be co-creators, we would all have our own planet. We would need to be like on the same planet. (laughs) So the very fact that we are here together, unless 
you're like a friend of mine who went off up into the Rockies and stayed there for about a year. We're creating something. But even him, he was a co-creator. And that's what it means to join up with spirit and the collective of dreamers, isn't it, Doc? It's very right. So um, thank you for saying all that because that's so true. Um, Co-creating is what the indigenous always knew we would do. That's how I'm drawn to shamanism is because it wakes up that belief again that we are an integral part of the universe and that we are in command of our energy field and therefore of things around us. And when we are in sync with the web of life, with the web of everything, and we start to be in control of shifting our energy, we are literally creating our future. We are, and that's why we say dream it, dream it, dream it big. When you dream for us to be bigger and we all join in the collective, then we can as a species, again, please, back in harmony with the earth, we can as a species and the other creatures of the earth create a whole new way of existence. And that is what it means to co-create that we are arm in arm, heart in heart with spirit, moving ourselves forward with help from them. Because remember, everybody, we are the ones who are actually getting to experience the human condition. We are literally the bridge between heaven and earth. We stand um, literally linking up spirit and the density of earth. And we're in a very unique position so let's use it and use it wisely and this is really as as we started to touch upon earlier and we've done other conversations have other shows about this is we are entering a new age we are entering the age as they say of aquarius and that age is not one of these things if you know anything about aquarius It doesn't mean that everything is going to be, as my Aquarian friend likes to say, airy-fairy. That's not the sign of Aquarius. And certainly, it doesn't come without each of us truly having honest conversations with ourselves. But if we do this without a spiritual path, and we do this without claiming, you know, the initiate, without claiming this inauguration... The road that we then say yes to is a heck more rocky. And I think that's Mm -hmm. the choice that we're faced, isn't it? It really is because you'll find your path and how you walk. Face it, being human is hard. (laughs) There are very many hard places in being human between heartbreak, physical challenges, just having to literally make it through a day-to-day life, especially in 2020. But we have connection to spirit. And when we have connection, it lifts us up because we are literally having help. And that's why I love the stones, because I can tap into the different energies. Um, I can literally get power from the dragon. I can get fire in my belly from carnelian. I can hold my feet steady with Amber. I love Amber. And I can lift myself. So those for me are are tools, although they're more than tools, but they're my vehicle. Um, And that's, we have a chance to be, and that's my philosophy. We are so much more than we allow ourselves to believe. So I believe in maximum. And again, you can find out all about that on my website, drsharonmartin.com. And let us Let us inaugurate ourselves into a whole new way of being. So happy new year, everybody. Thank you for listening to Maximum Medicine Radio, The Healing Hour, with me, Dr. Sharon Martin, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We're going to be together the third Wednesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific for candid, honest conversations to help you change the way you think about healing, about yourself, about your life. 
Did you hear your answer on the show? Well, I will be with you next month, ready for all your questions from energy medicine to traditional healing and beyond. Healing is flow, movement, and destination. But are you stuck? What is your true destiny line? Listen in, call in to let the world know. Together, we'll choose what brings you into healing and let you call in all the power of the universe to act on your behalf. Reclaim your path. To learn more about me, Doc Martin, and Maximum Medicine, The Healing Hour, visit www.drsharonmartin.com. See you all next time.